Grand Rising loved ones, welcome back to another episode of Healing Wisdom with me, your favorite spiritual advisor, Empress Oracle. I hope you all are doing well today. I know I'm doing good. You know, I was tired yesterday, had to get me some rest, honey, and this rain is not making it any better, but I hope you're all doing well. And today I want to talk to you guys about setting expectations for yourself. Alrighty, I recall hella years ago, shit, how long ago is it? What year is this? It had to be like five, six, maybe seven years ago. I was having a conversation with someone, right? And I'll never forget, we were talking, I think about relationships or something. And the person said that that's why they always go into relationships with no expectations because they never want to get their feelings hurt. And, um, but yet that same person was always getting their feelings hurt in relationships. And I've been noticing the more that I go on and I go different places and I talk to different people and I see different people's mindsets, including my own, a lot of people, you know, have told me that um, my expectations are too high I remember I was told that in the military that I need to settle. Like, who does that? What? Who? <laughs> what? Who does that? I was told I need to settle. Child wear. And stuff. But I see that a lot of people have that same philosophy of not going into situations or relationships with any expectations. Because then they feel like they'll be better off or their feelings won't get hurt. You know, they won't get let down. And I'm here to tell you guys, uh, that is false. That's bullshit. Whoever told y'all that is full of shit. Okay, and if you told yourself that, <laughs> then you're full of shit and you should stop it right now. Okay, you ever heard that saying stand for something or fall for anything? That shit is beyond true. I'm sorry, I feel like my incense, I feel like it's all smoky. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that saying is so true. You have to stand for something or fall for anything. You can't go into anything. It's you're doing yourself a disservice by going into anything, any situation without having some level of expectations either for yourself or out of that situation. All righty. What is the point of you going into something expecting nothing? Because the one thing that we cannot get back is time time. So although when you're entering into something, you may be like, okay, I don't have any expectations. But once you have spent time, invested time into something, because something that you think can just be really quick, might stretch out for years, months, weeks, days, whatever. Right? But at the end of that, you want to feel like it was not in vain, right? Everybody wants to feel fruitful. Everybody wants to feel accomplished in some way, shape, or form in life. But if you have no expectations and you go into something and you receive nothing, right? Then what is that saying for you and your standards for yourself? What is that saying for how you care about your time, which is very valuable and is priceless? What is that saying for you, for your self-growth, for your self-value, your own personal growth and maturity. How is that going to aid you, especially in being an example to your peers, the people around you, your children, et cetera, et cetera? Like what, what, what is that going to do? What is that going to do? When you go to a job, you have expectation going to that job, right? You, you don't just be like, oh, let me just go apply to this job because I ain't got shit else to do. No, you have expectations. You expect to go work and you expect to be compensated for that work in the form of money, right? That is the expectation, right? So if you go into a relationship, you're going to go into a relationship like, oh, let me just go ahead and marry this person just because I don't got nothing else to do. No, you have expectations. You should. You should expect that whenever you, you go into an intimate relationship with a person, you should expect either some type of balance or reciprocity in that relationship because that is what is going to edify your soul, make you feel fulfilled, make you feel abundant, make you feel like you're moving forward in life. You go into a friendship, you have expectations as well. Nobody just chooses to be friends with people just for the hell of it. No, there's something that those friends give to you that you can't get inside of yourself 
or they just balance you or you guys are compatible and you blend well together, right? So you expect that good kinsmanship, that good company when you're around your friends, hence why, they, hence why they're your friends. There's always an expectation and that's what we have to be aware of. And if we have no or low expectations for ourselves, that's what we're going to get from others. And when we receive that back from others, it hurts. It hurts way more. And we have to stop hurting ourselves, guys. That's abuse. Don't abuse yourself. Have some expectations for yourself. Set healthy boundaries in any type of interaction or relationship. So that way, even if you are not comfortable with stating your expectations to people, they should be able to tell because actions speak louder than words. The proof will be in the pudding. And if you show your intent, right? Because everything in life is a barter system. There's an ebb and flow. People always give with the expectations of something in return. So if you give and you don't receive something that is fair or balanced, then that means that either your expectations were not clear, they're not high enough, or that person just doesn't give a fuck. See? Simple. Right? When you don't have any expectations, you can't get mad when you get treated like less than you feel you deserve. That's what we have to understand. Ladies, ladies especially, I'm going to read it back. When you don't have any expectations, you can't get mad when you get treated like less than you feel you deserve. Because that conversation I had was with a female. All righty. And it's, it's to me, it's like, sis, how can you not have expectations of things going into a relationship? You, Me personally, I know. Think, let me think about these words. Think about these words. I know that at one point in time in my life, my expectations of what I expected from people was maybe a little bit more on the pessimistic side. And that comes from overgiving. That comes from overgiving of yourself and not expecting the same back in return or not receiving the same back in return and just be, being okay with that, accepting that. So I had to learn that for myself as well, which is why I'm coming to you ladies and I'm saying to you, you have to have expectations when you go into any type of relationship and you should also make those clear to anyone, all righty? It doesn't, it doesn't have to be a boyfriend or a girlfriend. It can be a work relationship. It can be a, a, a close associate, you know, your turn up buddy, anything. You say, hey, this is what I expect from you. What are you trying to do? Because you want to make sure that you're on the same page with the people around you because we don't have time to waste anymore. The time is now to make power moves, moves in the forward direction, not in the backwards. Those things, going through that repetitive cycle and relationships and things, that's times of old. That's back when we were younger. Everybody goes through it. It's perfectly normal. Everybody goes through it. However, the challenge is to get out of that, to set standards for yourself, to raise your expectations, or if you have none, to get some, to get some, and to stick to that, have firm, strong, healthy boundaries for yourself, and you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised the people that will fall out of your life and the people that will come into your life. That's what you have to understand. There's always an ebb and a flow, but if you don't have that balance, in yourself, in your life, in your relationships, then you're not going to have that ebb and flow, that positive ebb and, ebb and flow, which is what we need. That's what we need, guys. You should go into everything with some level of expectation for success. Otherwise, why are you doing it? Why? Who goes into a situation willingly and knowingly with no expectations? That's setting yourself up for failure. You might as well be going in expecting to fail. All righty. You have to have some type of foundation with anything that you're trying to establish, any type of positive relationship you're trying to establish in life. You have to have some type of foundation. All righty. And foundations are normally set with expectations. It's not saying that your expectations are the end all cure all the Bible. And that's exactly how it has to go. 
No, that's where communication and compromise comes in. Alrighty? And you sit down with whoever, like a mature person, and you lay down your expectations. And sometimes you may have to compromise and meet in the middle. That's fine. But that foundation is laid because now is the time where we're destroying the old shaky foundations and relationships that we've had in our life. And we, we're rebuilding new, more solid, firmer ones. All righty? The way that we want them built. All right? Yes. Expectations help to determine your self-value and your self-worth. That's something that you guys really don't realize, do you? I'm going to say it again expectations help to determine your self-value and your self-worth. That goes right back to what I said in the beginning about stand for something or fall for anything. If you have no expectations, then do you really value yourself? That means that you're willing, basically willing to accept anything, right? Any, any kind of way people treat you, people could talk to you however, and that's fine because you have no expectations of yourself, right? They could call you out your name. They could call you everything but your name, right? And it's okay. You'll laugh it off like it's a joke. But you know, you understand shade and jokes, low jabs, low blows, all of those always have a tinge of truth of how that person really feels. Keep that in mind. But if you have no expectations for yourself, then how can you stand up for yourself and be like, hey, I don't like that because you don't have any boundaries. No boundaries, people could tap dance all over your soul and shit. Who do that? Who? Who? Not me. <laughs> Not you. Shouldn't be. All right? You should expect to receive back what you give. Period. In any type of situation, in any type of relationship, you should always, always, oh, always <laughs> expect to receive back what you give, because that, my friend, is reciprocity. That is how the world stays balanced, all righty? That's how the fairy tales are supposed to end, where everybody lives happily ever after. However, it's not that way yet, but it starts with us. It starts with us, guys. We have to be the example. Start being the example by setting expectations for yourself, making those expectations clear. Set expectations with yourself, with your children, all righty, with your family members, your cousins, your best friend, your turn up buddies, your, your spouse, your coworkers. Set those healthy boundaries. You'd be surprised how many people will respect you and either step up or step out. And, it, and you know what? At the end of the day, that's okay. Because what's meant to be and who is meant to be will be as long as it's for your highest purpose. So with that being said, I'm going to leave you guys. Don't forget to check out my spiritual boutique, www.empressoracle333.com for all your aesthetic and spiritual beauty needs. I love you guys. Be safe.